Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from Intel guru Mark Z via PDK, we have Sudani in New York and Al Alak is openly discussing deleting the zeros, which is kind of a first for him. And we have HCL movement in Iraq. There is big stuff going on. Article, tomorrow the launch of employees salary financing. That came out yesterday, so it is today. Today they are getting paid. This is HCL stuff going on. Article, Kurdistan deposits nearly 100 billion dinars of its non-oil revenues in the Baghdad treasury. In my opinion, they would not be doing this if they were not done with HCL. Look for an announcement at any moment. From News Hound, Intel Guru Mountain Goat, article, by 48.5%, Banks Association, financial inclusion in Iraq has increased. When will they feel they have achieved enough? I think they are about there already. Choo choo. From Intel Guru Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground report. From Firefly, Channel 1 News is showing the Kuwait dinar currently at $3.60. They're talking about the Kuwait dinar. From Frank, what the hell for? You know why. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, article quote, U.S. Department of Treasury. Deputy Secretary of the Treasury has support for the Central Bank of Iraq and the Prime Minister's reform agenda. He's applauded Iraq's 6% growth in the non-oil economy. Here they are just getting started and they've already got 6% increase. That's huge you guys. That's really big. From Newshound Guru Samson, article, removing zeros from the Iraqi dinar is back in the spotlight. Strengthening the currency or just changing its form. From Newshound Guru Claire, article, Iraq plans currency redenomination amid economic challenges. Quote, many countries remove zeros from their currencies to revalue the national currency and facilitate financial transactions. This process involves eliminating a certain number of zeros from the nominal value of the currency, making it less inflationary and more stable. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, response to Guru Mark's post 923-2024, they're not doing exactly the same thing they did in Kuwait. Iraq has 25,000 notes. Kuwait never inflated their money. They never had to. They're not using the same terminology. They devalued their currency to keep it from being stolen by Iraq. They didn't want the Kuwait people to lose their wealth, so they devalued the currency. As soon as Iraq was chased out of Kuwait, they turned around and they re-denominated, which means they changed the looks of the notes. They didn't have to delete zeros. Kuwait got new notes. The denominations never changed. From Intel Guru Ray Ren 98, it's getting hot in here. Banks are very excited seeing dinar at $3.57. They say they're just awaiting authorization. The $3.57 rate on the bank screens will be higher when we go in. Even though some are expecting it today, I am focusing more on tomorrow. Definitely good news if it holds true. From Newshound Guru Jeff, we had five of these articles talking about deleting the zeros, and then one today, so six total within three days. Very amazing. Removing zeros is getting rid of the large three zero notes and replacing them with smaller size currency notes but at an increased value. So when the rate changes, the large notes have the same purchase power before the rate. 
from News Hound and tell Guru FNULNU, I would like to assure the Dinar investor community of a couple of things. There comes a time when common sense and logic must prevail. There will be no travel necessary to exchange your dinar for American dollars. You will not have to go to Jordan, Egypt, or Syria. There will be no 10 cents revaluation. It was already at the rate of $3.22 to one dinar when the only resource was oil. Dr. Shabibi, the preeminent expert, stated publicly that Iraq could sustain an $16 to one dinar rate, but let's not get greedy. $4.80 is just about right. Stay tuned because I will have a mind bender coming for you next time and it will really make you think. From Intel Guru Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground Report. From Firefly, Mr. Sammy expects by the end of this year or early 25 we will see what we're looking for. But he agrees with you it could happen at any time in the next three months of this year. From Frank, Mr. Sammy, and I are on the same page. The only difference is he's truing the pages a little slower than I am. I do not see this going into next year. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, we had three articles the other day, and now we have another one out today. Article, removing zeros from the Iraqi dinar is back in the spotlight, strengthening the currency, or just changing its form. Quote, remove the zero is done by removing specific number of zeros from the nominal value of the currency. They didn't say from the currency bills themselves. They're talking about the nominal value. For all you folks out there that have been talking about a lop, please just read and see. What is the value of your currency? Today it's 0 .00076. If you take off three zeros, what do you have? 0 0.76. From Newshound Guru Sampson, article, Prime Minister discusses with U.S. Secretary of State ending international coalition presence in Iraq. Before ending with few more last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is inflationary. Comment down below which updates you like, you think is valuable, or got you most excited. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, the chatter coming out of the banking side has been pretty severe today, in a good way. They say rates are being seen but I haven't confirmed them. But I am hearing this from three to four different sources that work at different banking institutions, and they all agree on the rate of $3.57 on the screens. It's certainly interesting this is being seen by so many, and the same rate. From Newshound Guru Jeff, pretty much everything happening right now, along with Sudani being in the UN, everything has to do with Iraq going international. And finally, the last update is from Newshound Guru Claire. Article, Iraq presence to US Treasury date for abandoning currency auction. Quote, the Prime Minister informed Mohammed Shia al Sudani, US Treasury Department, keeps only 5% of remittances for it. It is not done through the electronic platform and it will be completed by the end of this year. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq Dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these Intel providers? Moreover, we posted a significant news video the other day. In this video, we've unpacked an exclusive interview with the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Ali Mohsen al alaq published by Al Jazeera News. He discusses the ongoing considerations for deleting zeros from the Iraqi dinar, a move that has significant implications for the country's monetary policy. Is this part of a larger plan for the revaluation or reinstatement of the dinar? And importantly, why is this not a simple lop of zeros but a strategic step towards enhancing the currency's value? Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also, don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.